Everyone give a round of applause for Josh right now, coming to the What's Trending stage. What's going on? Let me take this. Are you? You're good. You're good. You've got it. Everyone love Josh. Hello. It's those beautiful blue eyes, oh, the pretty you. blue. Yes. All right, I'm going to do uh, an intro right now, just so we have it, okay? You're watching What's Trending from Playlist Live, brought to you by Marriott Hotels. We are right now with Josh Sundquist. How are What's you? Up? Hello. Yes. You're getting married. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, really That's soon. That's huge. Yeah, in like uh, 10 days. No way. Yeah. Countdown. Yeah, very, very How soon. How does it feel? Uh, it's really crazy right now. Uh, yeah, I just got back from my bachelor party. Uh, a <laughs> bunch of my friends and I went to Bermuda on a cruise for like six days. No way. Yeah, uh, so that was great. And now we're just, yeah, it's just, I don't know. You've heard about weddings. They're very Is crazy and complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's just like a lot of details, like a lot of... Is not as chill as you thought it would be? I never thought it would be chill. Uh, Did you no. always think you were going to be married? Like you, you're the married type? No, yeah. not really. Um, I was, you know, yeah, it was more... Um, I, I, well, I never... Ashley was actually my first girlfriend. So I was more like just hoping to find any girl <laughs> that was willing to be in some relationship. And then uh, I found one and I was like, yeah, let's keep going with this forever. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. she's a good one. She's, she's beautiful awesome. and yeah, so she is. sweet. She's the best. Yeah. Uh, so I got really lucky. And now, you, on the subject of your love life, yes, you released a book. Yes, let's keep talking about my love let's, life. You released yeah. a book last a year called subject. We Should Hang Out Sometime. That's right. About but all girls you have dated in the past. Well, uh, sort of. About girls I tried to date. Or tried to date. Yeah, so it was like when I was like 25, I had never had a girlfriend. And was like, why have I never had a girlfriend? So I did what anyone would do in that situation, I'm sure, including yourself. I, yes. I, I found or like tracked down all of the girls I had tried to date and asked them, like, why did it not work out? Like, why did you reject me? Um, but I tried to be more, like less awkward than that. And so and what happened? Did you do like one-on-one -on -one interviews with them? Or on yeah, the well, I tried or? not to, to, to case them as interviews. I tried to be like, let's <laughs> have coffee and catch up. And then I would and then go you're ahead. like, here's the recorder. Yeah, and, yeah, and here's uh, just here's a, a survey if you could fill this out. <laughs> no, so it was uh, no, it was pretty. It would be just be kind of casual. It'd be like, you know, when we we had that thing where I was trying to date you and it didn't work out. But yeah, no. So I learned a lot. I think actually about myself and um, and mostly found out like because I had imagined like there was some big problem, you know, with me that like girls didn't like or whatever. Uh, what I found out, I think, in reality was that there was just a lot of bad luck, you know, like wrong places at wrong times. And if there was something, if there was a problem, the problem was like me imagining that there was a problem with myself. We Does that make our own sense? Stories. We right. Stories exactly. In our head. Right. You have this story in my head, like, oh, like nobody will ever love me, nobody will ever date me, or whatever. Right. So, uh, yeah. So I, I sort of got over that, and then and then I met Ashley. Isn't that crazy? And yeah. And then a couple years after I was dating Ashley, my literary agent was like, you know that weird thing you did with the girls? Like, you should write a book about that. And so then I did. And what did she yeah. feel about like you going back in time, remembering all these relationships? Yeah, well, I talked to Ashley like, about it like, before I wrote it, just to make sure she was cool with it. And uh, I think she really liked the fact that she's the happy ending of the book, right? So, uh, yeah. Aww, all the girls are aww. like, yeah. Yeah, but when, so when, the, when the hardcover came out earlier this year, uh, like we weren't engaged yet. So at that time, it just ended like with me having a girlfriend. The paperback will come out next year, and it ends with like, oh, update like now we're actually hanging out forever so yeah i like the way you said that we're hanging out forever yeah well yeah you know well because my pickup line thing is always and that was always like early on because i kind of got started on youtube just like ranting about my girl problems uh and <laughs> <laughs> that's what youtube is for that's really what it's for it's like a free therapist so uh yeah but it was always that was like how i would try to find dates that my line was always we should hang out sometime mm -hmm. because it's like it's not really a question you know it's non-committal like, yeah it's non-committal it's like it's like my opinion is that we should hang out right yeah, and it's yeah. like you can't really disagree with your with like if i was like sure yeah, 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 yeah. like i really it could be a friend it could be whatever yeah or if i was like sure like i think this is a beautiful day like that's just my opinion you can't be like no i reject your opinion like you know, you know what I'm saying. It's a like safety. Yeah, it's a safety, mechanism. right? Because I was trying to avoid rejection at all costs. But <laughs> it was just like, what is something I could do that cannot be rejected? <laughs> like worst case scenario the is sky she's is like, blue. Yeah, worst case scenario is she's like, yeah, and then it's always busy or whatever. But then you can just tell yourself, oh, she was busy, you know, whatever. So I don't, I don't remember what we were talking about, but we're, yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. To, uh, that's my great dating advice. People, well, yeah, because because I wrote a book ostensibly about dating. People are always like. 
what's your dating advice? And I'm like, I just wrote a book about how I couldn't ever find a girlfriend. But you reflected. That was the thing. That's your, your advice is to reflect and to know yourself on what you want and don't want. Yeah. And kind of to figure that out and be introspective. Yeah, I guess that would be like the underlying <laughs> advice. The overt advice would be like, do, n don't do anything that I did. Like, do the opposite. There you go. And uh, maybe it will work out for you. And how has YouTube evolved for you besides like doing the rants about uh, your dating life? Yeah, which has been really interesting, right? Because early on, it was about like, uh, it, it, was, it, it was literally my early videos were like, I just went on this date, I tried to kiss her, like we bumped noses, it was really weird, or whatever. And then, uh, and then I started, in, in fact, like when I first met you, yeah. was like the very first VidCon, I had, I, I mean, I didn't even know, how, like everyone was like, how many subscribers do you have? I didn't even know yeah. like uh, what subscribers were. Uh, and then after that VidCon, a lot of people started watching me, and then like girls would see the thing, like they would come to me and they'd be like, I think, did, did you just make a video about me and put it on the internet? And I was like, uh, what? Um, so then I had to uh, like use a lot more like pseudonyms for the girls and be a lot more vague. And then eventually, of course, I, I got in a real relationship with Ashley. And then it's like, well, it's, it's, that's not an interesting video. No one wants to hear about like, yeah, and we're still together and we're still happy. Got to uh, create drama. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so then my videos, uh, the last couple years were, I, I did a lot of stuff about just talking about having one leg and sort of the funny interactions I have with people in regards to that because that's just constant like all the time people are saying really weird stuff to me like what i mean just i, I like, like sometimes you're like what how do people come up with this stuff yeah well totally but it's awesome because I, when they do then i'm like thank you that now i have a vlog material uh, yeah it's always like a, but yeah the most recent thing was like two weeks ago i was because sometimes people don't even like know or whatever so i was on a a plane and i was sitting down <laughs> And uh, like, I don't know, some of you guys probably flew here. And so I was already seated and you know, we we're in coach class and so there's not a lot of space. And a guy comes and like sits behind me and uh, presumably had not seen me and turns to his friend and he was like, these seats are obviously made for people who don't have legs. And I was like, wow, you are gonna feel so bad when we land and I stand up and you see that I actually am a person who doesn't have a leg. Either that or like that was that was my section. I didn't even know like yeah, I, yeah. that was the the people without legs section, and uh, and I got a seat in it. So yeah. You create. It seems like you create a lot of humor. Like how who taught you that or, you know, what's the inspiration for creating humor out of all these situations? Yeah, I don't know. For me, uh, I guess that's always been at least for those aspects of having one leg. That's always kind of been how I deal with those those interactions. It's like you could. I think, or, you know, choose to, like, oh, get bitter and, like, an annoyed all the time. Like, oh, people are, like, weird around me or whatever. But to me, at least for that, it's just, like, why do that when you can just laugh about it? Like, that's just, it's way more fun, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, and it can be entertaining for other people, too. Like, obviously, there's, like, bad things that happen that aren't funny, of course. But, um, but for me, it's, like, if, if there is a funny side to it, I would, I'd much rather, like, be able to laugh about it. So um, as far as where that came from, I don't know. I mean, I really early, you know, when I first lost my leg, so I had cancer, um, as some of you probably know, when I was a kid, when I was like nine years old, and I got fitted with an artificial leg. And, and uh, yeah, I guess kind of the first thing that happened that made me see, see that there was like this other side to it was uh, I was wearing my artificial leg and I'd, uh, I was in the, a teaching hospital at UVA. And so a medical student was doing a routine like, vitals like eyes and ears and mouth and nose and so he was taking my pulse right and he was he, so he had his like two fingers on me he's like checking the seconds or whatever and he just starts to look really freaked out and my mom is like um joshua now has an artificial leg and you are trying to take a pulse from it <laughs> and, and like this is a medical student i was like wow uh i hope you never become a doctor like this is you are just such a lawsuit waiting to happen but so that was like, you know, I was like 10. That was, you know, just a few weeks after I lost my leg. But I was like, that's pretty funny. And maybe like I could, maybe like things like this can always be funny. Um, and so for the most part, I found them to be funny. Yeah. Finding the humor in that. And obviously surrounding your, yourself by awesome people that 
love you and care about you and yeah totally you. and I, like you know my parents always had a good sense of humor about you know because like when I, I used to wear an artificial leg a lot and so a lot of times they would be the ones like carrying my artificial leg around me with, like you know it was which is really weird uh <laughs> and so we'd travel with it uh you know on road trips and i would always like put it in the trunk but just like have the foot hanging out the back of the trunk and try to get my parents to like drive slowly nearby graveyards and all that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, my parents were always like super supportive and also had a great sense of humor about things. You have epic Halloween costumes. Uh, thank or you. Or costumes in general? Uh, Are you into just, the costumes? It's Halloween's, <laughs> yeah, not normally <laughs> costumes, yeah. This is, this is my Josh Sundquist costume today, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, we made note of this because Halloween is already coming up, which is crazy. Yeah, it's coming up really so soon. So what, what can we expect from you this year? Um, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I can, yeah, really, I, you're already working on it. Uh, no, well, I, I feel like I have so much pressure now because it's like every year so it's you like... describe your costumes each year? What, what's the previous year's Yeah, costumes? yeah, okay. So, um, so my first time I ever did like an amputee type costume was 2010. I was a partially eaten gingerbread man. Uh, and that was like my easiest costume ever because I just got like the costume from Shrek of like the gingerbread man and just literally just cut the leg off and put it on and it was like it was so easy but I was walking around I live here in DC and I was just going to Halloween parties and and people were just like that costume is amazing like where did you hide your leg and like it never occurred to anyone that maybe I was actually an amputee and uh, <laughs> and so and those were in the days before, you know, in 2010, there wasn't as much information sharing. There wasn't th this concept that we have now of like viralness wasn't quite uh, where it existed. So then there was like Daily Booth. You remember Daily Booth. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I put it on Daily Booth and immediately I got all these texts from all my friends. They were like, your costume is hilarious. Uh, but there wasn't really a shareability factor. And then uh, 2011, it wasn't uh, an amputee costume. And then 2012, Ashley suggested I be a leg lamp. So I was like the leg lamp from a Christmas story, you know, like that he gets like, and, um, and so I, and I had the whole thing, I shaved my leg, wore a fishnet stocking, uh, and I wore like an actual lamp shade and, and it had lights in it. Uh, so it was actually lit up. So yeah, that was pretty good. And then, uh, <laughs> That, so, so this is starting to get shared a lot, obviously. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. So then that was the year. Then it, uh, you know, uh, somebody posted on Reddit, and it, like it just really blew up. And then people went back to Daily Booth. This is before Daily Booth deleted all of their old content and uh, found like those videos, and they're like, "Hey, this is the same guy. Like he does hilarious costumes." And then so then the next year after that was when I was uh, a flamingo, a pink flamingo. Uh, which I, when I, it's really hard to describe to people because when I say that, people like think like, oh, of course, because flamingos stand on one leg. But the costume was actually like I was st doing a handstand on my crutches, upside down, and my foot was like the head of the flamingo. Um, went to parties upside down? No. No. So that one did not. That one doesn't travel well. <laughs> yeah, that one's a, mo a much more stationary costume. That one I just went to costume or to parties in like a pink leotard, and I was like, I can do a stand, and it will look sort of like a flamingo for a second. Uh, and then last year, because I started playing soccer and, uh, and I joined the U.S. amputee soccer team last year. And actually, last year's costume I got it, uh, at uh, another um, video conference that I guess competes with this one that some people might have heard of called VidCon. Uh, are we allowed to talk about VidCon yeah, here? Really, yes, it's all, you know, we're all friends. Okay, everybody's yeah. friends. Good. So, yeah, so somebody at VidCon actually suggested this costume to me. So last year I was a foosball player. Because if you think about foosball players, oh, yeah. they have that like oh, mono leg. Yeah, yes. yeah, and so I built this thing like with my crutches where I could hold them behind my back and they were like the pole, kind of, you know, like they were like the chrome pole. And then I had like a, a boot like here, like a mono leg thing. Um, so yeah, so those were, those were my amazing. costumes. This is amazing. So yeah. now you, you ha you've raised the bar, so there's a lot of pressure. Raised the bar, so to was that a pun for like foosball? <laughs> I just sorry, said it Sorry, randomly. I couldn't resist. It was a, a random moment of yeah. not genius. Of, yeah, do, <laughs> <laughs> do you find... I want to say like, oh yeah, totally. Do you find that when you do back-to-back uh, -back interviews all day, by the end of the day, you're like super punchy? <laughs> like, oh yeah, like, you're like, yeah. You're like, hey, I mean, hey, sometimes it happens, and I'm like, you're on a roll. Shira, what was my name? Again. Yeah, no. Where are we? It looks like oh, playlist live. It, it yes, slows oh, down right. towards the end. Yeah. No, or I'm just like yeah, keep talking. Like yeah. it's all about you. Just yeah. Keep on giving us awesome nuggets. Yeah. I call it the nuggets, golden nuggets. The golden nuggets. All right. All right. It's, it's not about me though. All right. We're gonna play a little game. Okay. It's called um, <laughs> Josh Sunquist tests pickup lines. We okay. found some of Reddit's favorite pickup lines, and we want you to help us evaluate them. Okay. <laughs> you tell us if any of these are better, then we should hang out sometime. If any of them are better. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> and you could, you know, jump in. Yeah, you guys can you also probably too. help us with these. Girl, are you sitting on the F5 key? Because that ass is refreshing. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, I've never heard that before. I can see why that came from the internet. Hello. How do you guys, how, if any of ten. you, we have a lot of ladies here. If, if anyone said that to you, would you be pretty um, into it? No? No. So that, that gets because a fail. Because it's about your ass being refreshing. Exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it's a fail. Yeah. We want right. to talk about, you know, more emotional things. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, yeah. Because, like, pickup lines are often, like, these things that are, like, yeah, it's funny. But, like, if you said that to any normal, socially adjusted person, they would probably slap you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> Do you like raisins? Well, how about a date? Okay. It's not offensive, at least. Raisins it's not about your Raisins make you go ass. to the bathroom, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting towards the end of the day. We can tell, I'm sure. <laughs> it's still midday, actually. You're so beautiful. You made me forget my pickup line. <laughs> really? That's that's an actual pickup line. From our research, yes. Yeah. How? Well, I feel like that's maybe like charming, or maybe it's like I don't know. What do you guys? How do you guys feel about that? It's a medium. That, that one gets like a maybe. Yeah. On a scale of one to America, how free are you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty. <laughs> these are pretty clever. They I like are. that. How free. <laughs> Went to I, America. Can I follow you home? Because my parents always told me to follow my dreams. Oh, uh, and what creepy. Would you say about that? And, yeah, I would say and, stalker hi, I'm a stalker. material. So can you I might follow not you home? Want to use that? So in the end, none of these really would uh, make the cut. Well, for I mean, you. I would say the one, the only one that's equivalent. So because here's the thing, it's like. Uh, you're trying to just like open a conversation. So like the one where it was like, what was the thing like? I forgot. You're so beautiful. I forgot my pickup yeah. line. So that's kind of good because it's like you're not really asking anything about their ass being refreshing. <laughs> you're right. You're <laughs> you're just kind of saying something that that then she's gonna be like, oh. Oh, that's oh, funny. Okay. So what's your name? Where are you from? I guess we can keep talking. Maybe. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Pickup lines. With Josh Sunquist. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, yeah. And we're about to wrap up. Do any of you have questions? I would say if you have questions, you should really tweet them to us uh, using the hashtag Marriott at Playlist. By the way, it's only 2 p.m. It's far from over. We've just gotten started. What time did you start like this? this and we started only at 12. Oh, it's okay. only two so, hours. Yeah, so we're still early in the day. So by the way, if you do have questions, we can bring a mic to you or you can tweet us if you're too shy. From 10 feet away. But yeah, but does anyone have questions? <laughs> anyone? I questions know. Questions from I saw our that studio audience? Oh, uh, are is, you, Isabel, do you have a question? How do you know her name? I, you know, I'm, I'm really in touch with my fans. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And she's friends with my sister. Oh. No, really, I, honest. Wait, is that Anna? Anna, hold on. Anna, we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk. Because Anna, last night, uh, I, can, can you hear me? Could she hear me? So... Well, she just, she just, like, so she just went to college. Apparently, she's giving strange boys phone numbers. But, is this your sister? Yeah, this is my sister. <laughs> okay. But she gave, because she gave my, one of my other brothers her phone number last night. Like, a dude was talking to her. And, he, and she was like, here's my number. And, but it was Luke's number. And then so, like, this guy called. He's like, he's like, yo, where's Anna? And Luke was like, uh, I'm her brother. And then Anna texted Luke and was like, uh, just to let you know, I just gave a guy my num uh, my number. He might be calling That's you. That's harsh. So he definitely called. There uh, you go. But good work, Anna, on not giving out your number. That's we've taught you I well. It's your brother. Just strange yeah. boys. It's like yeah. No, because then Matt was like, "Oh, what? Let me call him back." Yeah, because yeah, Matt was pissed. You're gonna get these guys into trouble. Yeah, Matt well, was pissed. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your playlist live. Yeah, you Give too. it up for Josh, everyone. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We have.